everybody, I'm Tony Fleming. Welcome to Where the Hell Do I Even Work? Hold on one second. Woo -woo. All right, let's try that again. We ready? Hey everybody, I'm Tony Fleming. Welcome to Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Today we're going to look at an all original, brand new, never been driven, 1929 SSK worth $20 million. However, we're not going to look at it here. But what we are going to look at here is a copy of that exact car. You say, well, Tom, $20 million, where do you come up with those figures? Listen, first off, these right here, they only built, and Angie found this number, 38 of these cream puffs, 38 of these, right? Over a span of several years, okay? Now, we are talking 1929. We're approaching almost 100 years, almost 100 years that this car uh, came out. Look at the style of this car in 1929. It's pretty exotic, right? And they build replicas of cars, very much like Shelby Cobra replicas, this SSK replica, Porsche 550 Spider replicas, because those cars are so expensive, you can't drive them on the road. If this car was for sale, they estimate the next one that will sell will sell in between 15 and $20 million. That is a lot of money, man. And here's a car that has modern components on it, modern components on it, like rack and pinion steering and all kinds of things like that, and disc brakes and what have you, in great style for not a lot of money that looks amazing. All right, so let's get into it. We'll see some of the stuff that it gets and it comes with, and hopefully we'll find a way to get it in your garage. All right, so the front end of this car is pretty spectacular. Like, inside this showroom here, it's amongst other supermodels, and it's already good looking. Can you imagine this car amongst minivans and SUVs and regular pedestrian cars? It is pretty spectacular. Bordeaux and cream, the two-tone paint on this car is amazing. These are built by Gazelle. They're built in a factory, so it wasn't built in somebody's garage, right? The factory built these cars all the same on either a Ford or a GM chassis, all right? So these were already tried and true frames and suspensions, and this is what you ended up with, a really nice replica here. This is Bordeaux and cream, and if you want, uh, you can get the Mercedes badge that go right there. Let us know. We can get that in the sunburst or a couple different options to put on there, which I think would look great. I also like to talk about quality of the paint, right? This is really nice, so you can enjoy this and drive this, take it to the beach. You can take it to a car show, uh, and let's make sure we can look at all the letters that are in there. One of the things in getting a classic car like this is how complex is it under the hood and who will be able to work on it? Because that should be a thought of your mind. Like when I get this car, who will work on it? However, in this case here, this is a Ford drivetrain, all Ford parts, right? Ford frame and things like that. The, the voltage regular, the braking system, the engine, the carburetor, like all of that stuff is all stuff you can get today. Anybody who is a decent mechanic can work on this because it's basic, 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 and that's what I love so much about it. It's simple, it's not ridiculously expensive, it's not super exotic in the sense that you have to go to the Ferrari dealer uh, to get a spark plug change or the engine jacked up because they can't get to the last plug. Everything's easy to get to. You can even do it yourself if you wanted to, all right? That's all I wanted to mention about that. This way you can open the hood if you want to go to a car show. People can see how cool this car is. It's just a great looking car, and I think you'd have a lot of fun. All right, one of the reasons I like this car as well, first off, that we keep talking about this style because I love the style. I love this back tire back here. I love this wraparound pieces here. A couple changes you could make if you wanted to. If you didn't love that exhaust pipe, we could put on a little sportier one or a little more elegant one. Secondly, housed inside here is storage, right? Here are the side windows that clip in over there. This has a full convertible top. You could put soft luggage back there if you wanted to. Here's a convertible top here with a frame if you get caught in bad weather right? Which gives it also a completely different look when the top and the windows are in place. Um, and it's a, kind of an all season car with heat uh, and, and drivability. And once we get inside, we'll get to check out some of the gauges and some of the uh, things that, that make a, di a difference. All right. I love this. Like when I said functional, this having a convertible top, having side windows, having a back seat, right? It's not a huge back seat, but you could put the dogs back there. You could put two kids back there, right? Can you imagine going to dinner with the kids in this car? Like you talk about a very different experience, very different. All right. So back to like a usable, cool car like this, like a full array of gauges, right? You got an 8,000 RPM tack, 120 mile an hour speedometer. You got uh, water temperature, oil pressure, bolts, fuel, things like that. You got heat, right? Nothing to that. Different fan speeds. That's what I mean. Like you could drive this like on a December when it's like 40 out, you could turn the heat on and wheel this around. This would be a really, really fun car. 
The interior, is, I think, is great. I love the color combination. I love the fact that it's just like kind of wraps around. I love the way these doors are super easy to open and close. It just kind of fits well in here. It's a nice wheel. Anyway, I don't want to ramble on all day about it, but it just seems like uh, such a cool car. And the view from here out is amazing. That long hood, those big uh, horns and the headlights and things like that, very, very classic. All right, so let's close up the video on this here. This is, uh, this is, if you ever saw a real one, ever saw a real one, and very few have been in the public eye, very few are traded hands, very few. Where you see Bugattis and things like that, trading hands and selling over and over, Ferraris, stuff like that, rarely do you see an SSK uh, trading hands. A replica is a great way to enjoy a car with style and class without having to worry, not to mention can't afford it, right? Worry about something happening to it. This is a great way to do that. You have disc brakes, you have a convertible top to make it kind of all seasonal. We have heat. We have all of this easy stuff to work on in the car. I don't know, I just think it's an awesome, awesome buy. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this Mercedes SSK replica. Don't forget, if you would, please to share this video with your friends and like it down there at the bottom. And if you would, subscribe to the channel and every time new videos come in, we'll send them to you.